Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Microsoft has just dropped a massive new build in the Canary Channel, Windows 11 Insider Preview Build 28000. This isn't just a regular update. It comes with a brand new version number, Windows 11 version 26H1. The build number jump is huge from the 27,000 series straight to 28,000. And it's already raising a lot of questions about what this new version means for the future of Windows 11. Is this the next big feature update? Microsoft uses these numbers to represent upcoming feature updates. 26 H1s means the first half of 2026. And this new branch will eventually become the next major Windows 11 release or possibly even an early step toward Windows 12, depending on how Microsoft decides to brand it. This build, 28,000, officially kicks off that cycle, moving away from the 25 H2 builds we've been seeing throughout 2024 and 2025. For insiders in the Canary channel, the most immediate change you'll notice is in your system settings or when you run the Winver command. The OS now proudly identifies itself as version 26H1. But here's the crucial part, straight from Microsoft. This build is not a feature update for version 25H2. The 25H2 channel remains the primary place for new features you can expect later this year in the main annual update. So if it's not a feature update, what is it? Version 26H1 is primarily a platform change designed to support specific next generation hardware or silicon as Microsoft calls it. Uh, specifically, this is about supporting the new wave of ARM based PCS, like those running the latest Snapdragon X2 processors and uh, potentially upcoming NVIDIA ARM chips. These new devices require specific underlying platform adjustments in the OS to function optimally. Think of 26H1 as a special early version of Windows 11 that these new Copilot Plus PCs will ship with in early 2026 before everyone else gets a unified update later in 2026 with 26H2. You won't see big user interface changes just yet. This is more about laying the foundation. The flashy stuff will likely come in later builds as we move into early 2026. Now remember, this is the Canary Channel, meaning these builds are highly experimental. They're not stable and can include bugs, driver issues, and incomplete features. If you're a developer, enthusiast, or content creator testing features, Go for it. But if this is your main PC, I'd recommend waiting until it hits the dev channel or beta channel later on. Are you running the Canary channel? Did you notice the version change? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this breakdown helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe for all the latest Windows news. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.